that could transform the way autism is diagnosed, tracked, and treated is in the works now, and it's being done right here in New Haven. Yale researchers are leading the charge in this four-year study. It's the largest autism study funded by the National Institutes of Health. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa shows us what they're doing. Jocelyn. Anna Deeran, the principal investigator of the study, tells me the result could be transformative, a significant shift in determining which child will benefit from which treatment. You are looking at brain activity. Uh, this is the micro voltages. Showcasing the electrical activity of a child, taking part in the Autism Biomarkers Consortium study at the Yale Child Study Center. The focus is on the color blue, explains researcher Takumi McAllister. That blueness is the target. We want it to be as blue as possible for everybody and we want to see what treatments are creating more blueness at that time and what's not working out so well. A potential set of biomarkers which could have a profound impact on a patient with autism spectrum disorders, says principal investigator Dr. James McPartland at Yale School of Medicine. So what we want to understand is how can we scientifically determine which child is going to benefit from which treatment? using science instead of relying on subjective judgment. Targeted therapy, personalized medicine, that's the idea, is if we can figure out in a very specific way what's going on with a specific person with autism, we can do much better figuring out how to help them. Patricia Oida's 11-year-old son diagnosed with autism is a study participant. It's important for me to know that I'm, I'm in the right uh, track that we are getting all the services that he really needs. The family already benefiting from a report provided by the study that they are now sharing with his school and other treatment providers. Some of the things that they're actually suggested is stuff that we thought about doing, but we were not sure if it was a good idea or not. Children in the study are thoroughly evaluated for 24 weeks, being measured for their social behavior and communication. Okay, Aggie, so you're gonna see some faces on the screen. How the brain works as a unit could be the key to advancing treatment in autism. If there's a person who wants to experience greater social success, if we could figure out ways to increase the effectiveness of those parts of the brain, we could make their lives better. Researchers are also collecting blood samples for DNA analysis. A treatment program can include behavioral and occupational therapies, educational intervention, and medication. And they are looking for children between the ages of 4 and 11 to take part, kids with autism, as well as those who do not have the diagnosis. For more information on the study, go to our website, WTNH.com. Darren? All right.